Hey y'all, this is Costa. I help people break the system to build a better future. Today, we're talking about long-term care. So I own a long-term care company in Tennessee and I've worked in the industry for 10 years. You may be asking yourself, what is long-term care? Long-term care is essentially a variety of services that are designed to meet the needs of someone that cannot perform basic daily tasks on their own for an extended period of time. So when someone develops a disability or generally ages, living independently and safely gets much more difficult. This means it could be the slow progression of dementia or Alzheimer's. Other times it could be a sudden stroke that leads to paralysis. No matter what occurs, it is inevitable that as you age, statistically, you will have some type of chronic illness or disabling medical event. And long-term care generally encompasses both medical and non-medical needs, such as bathing, getting dressed, daily medication management, and assistance with household chores. Since over 80% of Americans over the age of 75 will need some form of long-term care, it is likely that a large portion of the population will need assistance after a medical event that causes a disability. So in rare cases, this care can be handled by a family member or multiple family members who have the time and training to make sure a person's needs are met. However, most families are not equipped to manage the complexity of care or have the time to provide the care needed to ensure needs are being met. Not to mention acquiring all of the equipment needed to sufficiently care for a person. Another difficulty facing long-term care is access to caregivers. Caregivers are becoming more limited as people are looking for opportunities in more cutting edge fields. So with these challenges, many seniors resort to living in assisted living facilities or nursing homes. And this can be so disheartening as many want to stay at home, but it becomes more and more difficult due to the amount of resources that are necessary to provide adequate care. Who will need long-term care? Well, long-term care is typically accessible to anyone who cannot care for themselves independently. So this could be due to old age, disability, or a chronic illness. And it can be difficult to predict what kind of care or for how long the care will be needed and depends primarily on the severity of each condition. So as I mentioned earlier, about 80% of Americans over the age of 75 will need some form of long-term care during their latter years. But long-term care isn't just for when you get older. Long-term care could be someone who has gone through a traumatic event that needs assistance getting back to doing daily activities without support. There are two different types of long-term care. There's medical and then there's also non-medical. Medical long-term care is essentially the routine and consistent maintenance of someone with a disease, illness, or an ongoing disability. This could be anything from daily physical therapy due to a car accident or rehabilitative care after having a heart attack or stroke. But the most common type of long-term care is non-medical. And non-medical long-term care focuses on daily activities like running errands, household chores, and transportation. It also includes more, more personal care, such as bathing, toileting, eating, and getting dressed. Unfortunately, and this is unfortunate, but all these services come with a hefty price tag. Determining the price of long-term care depends on the frequency and complexity of care that is required, so it does differ from case to case. There are various ways of paying for long-term care. Some families use their personal savings, or state Medicaid helps if you qualify, and that is why it is so important to include long-term care insurance into your financial planning. Long-term care insurance policies and prices differ state by state, so it is important for you to do your research before deciding on a plan. So when should someone get long-term care? So as I said before, long-term care is there to support people who cannot perform basic daily tasks without support. The need for long-term care can happen suddenly, but more often the need for care comes from people gradually getting older and not being able to support themselves independently. So there are many reasons as to why, when, and what kind of long-term care is needed. It is so important to plan and be prepared if and when the time comes. If you're interested in different types of long-term care facilities or the difference between Medicare and Medicaid, please check out my other videos. 
I have explaining these topics more in depth.